<laughs> It'll be exciting. I, I can't wait for this one. Sam, who do you pick? Oh, I went with OG on this one. All right. And I think the reason why Navi didn't want to take a break is for the very reason that they don't want to lose the momentum. As you said, right? You hope yeah. that they're fired up. You hope that they kept their focus. But it's been an hour. They've had time to cool off. OG, in the meantime, are going to be fresh as daisies. They haven't been playing officials tonight. They've just been waiting to play this match. So they've had time to warm up, watch Navi, yeah. pick up on some stuff. It's going to be a hard fought battle here for Navi, I think. I don't think it's going to be any by, in any way easy. Uh, this is an OG that I mean, should be ready to smash them. The OG that we saw just yesterday was looking godlike. Yeah. So I, I've got pretty high expectations. Um, and again, I mean, my trust in Navi, even after everything we just saw, I mean, I, it's, it doesn't go that deep. I want them to prove it. Mantu going to be running straight in with a flashbang from Alexi B. That is a crisp execute. Ezer and Mantu again. He got tagged. He's down to nine health, and he'll take down Flamey as well. That worked out so well. Way better than he could have asked for. What a beautiful round out of Mantu. And they know now where Perfecto is as well. And so OG are going to close in like a bunch of sharks. And BK, lucky for him, he does not get his head taken off. Issa puts the pressure on, and they are going to be ready to take the fight to him. One kill goes through. And BK looking for the knife. Not going to happen. Mantu robs him. Quad kill on him. Of course. But, uh, yeah, I like it, MVK. A little bit of a chuckle. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, boys. Yes, you popped off in the pistol. Wow. Even Matsu showing a little bit of a grin there. He's been doing that. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's rare. It's like a, it's like a bird flying on the, you know, you just caught it out of the corner of your eye. Where, did I see that? Did I imagine it? Beautiful kingfisher time. Rare. <laughs> uh, I don't know, maybe. But Simi's just a stoic person, but he's enjoying himself. He should be. I, I love it. Look at the initiative that they took. You know, you can wait around and try and snipe people with USP. They said, no, we're just going to flash our way in. And again, so much, I think so many of the successful CT sides that we've seen, even in the first three days here at Blast Premier, have been about not letting the, the T sides have all the initiative. Try and take something away from them. Make sure they can't just, you know, in luxury set up and, and in, you know, throw all the flashbangs and smokes that they want. Like, sometimes yeah. you've got to put them off their balance. And... I think uh, OG are a team that, that successfully have done that. I think NIP did that yesterday uh, and obviously didn't manage to do that so much against Na'Vi on some of the, some of the maps here. But I think that's, that's something that we're seeing, you know, coming back into it a little bit more. There's been a whole, you know, era of Counter-Strike where, where you said, well, maybe we need that less. All we need is double ops on the CT side and then we'll be good to go and all teams will build around that. So I, I much prefer this. I hope this is a, uh, um, you know, a returning metagame in some sense. It's not the first time we've seen it, but I hope it's a returning metagame that's going to, you know, keep growing and growing. It's so much fun to watch. Ooh, but this is also interesting. MBK going down and Issa will drop next. Alexi B gonna pick one up as well, but that is it. And a flawless, essentially, uh, B site take from Navi. And uh, perhaps uh, OG were kind of regretting uh, getting a little bit too lighthearted there at the end of that pistol round, not staying focused. Uh, what a shot from Simple. <laughs> Dude. He is uh, not to be messed with. Nearly wins that fight, too. He's not far off. Is he still crouched on his legs over there when he died? It looked like his model was, like, oddly just standing in place. Even in death, he is really Even dragged. in death. Mantu goes down. They not only went around, but find every single person. Uh, this is a great return, and it's a, it's a B-split. What team were we watching last on Dust 2 that did, did no B-splits? I'm trying to think. Um, it would have been against Navi. They're the only ones we've seen play. Maybe it was Navi. That didn't. I think it would be the Navi. rematch. Yeah, I don't think Navi did any B splits when they were on the T side last time. Yes, exactly. So this is a way to the game within the game. Yeah, change things up. It is, I, I just can't think of a reason why it wouldn't at least be worth trying in any match because you know you've got to test that out. Flashes and it looks like Boomich was on flash just m seconds before. That is uh, the flashbang lottery that always happens out at long right. Everyone's throwing flashbangs. You know, you don't know if you're hitting yourself or your teammates or the enemy, but it's eventually someone stops being flashed and whoever whoever is first wins. That's it. That's it's exciting. Summed up. It's really exciting. You really roll the dice, and it can be so disappointing and disheartening if uh, it keeps going against you. Yeah, there can be so few. There are a few places on a map that are as frustrating to play as a long CT side. But uh, Mantu, let's see. <laughs> Whoa! Definitely gonna back off there. He was like, I'm gonna go find someone who's like, oh wait, uh, wait. I'm the mole in this game. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I don't wanna be. <laughs> uh, that would have been unfortunate. But instead, they're gonna push on up on the A site. Now, Navi. 
right at the doorstep. Simple cleaning house to be expected. Mantu going to get the drop on him, but Boomich, Boomich is waking up. He's looking pretty crisp here at the beginning of Dust 2 in these first few rounds. Unfortunate for MBK. Had his right idea, but he's going to get found. Yeah, he almost stood up right on top of them. I think they were with, he was within, almost within like sledgehammer range if they had one. Mm -hmm. Crush. I'm sure that would work, even if you had a Kev Kevlar helmet, I think. Sledgehammer will do it. Also, terrific song by Peter Gabriel, so. Does Peter that. Gabriel. There's the <laughs> name. Listen, slightly dating myself, perhaps. Nah. <laughs> that guy's eternal, dude. dude. Well, Don't worry about I like it. That. Thanks. That's a nice save. I appreciate that. <laughs> Fourth round. And again, this time, though, nice jump out with his back turned electronics spinning around and catching MBK. But they also only have USP. So this should be fine. Should be no problem here. It's early days still, obviously, in this best of three and or even on Dust 2. So I'm not going to take really anything uh, for granted just yet. But they should be winning this round without too much trouble. So we'll see what OG can... Uh can come up with once they have, you know, some, some more rifles. Another interesting thing to really watch out for, you know, is Mantu and that AWP, because we have seen some really amazing orb work coming out from him. I mean, really, like, super high quality. And obviously now he's up against Simple, potentially. That is uh, a little bit of a test to be passing, but, you know, last, it's possible. Yeah, last time that they, they played, though, they were top ranking. It was yeah Simple versus Mantu, just going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the ops in play. So it was really cool to watch. Uh, Simple, of course, pulled ahead in that battle, as Simple tends to do. But Monty was up there, just going uh, going all out in that fight. This is Navi really just freaking annihilating, though. Three to one at the beginning. Fairly one-sided as well, so the money is growing on the side of the T's. Yeah. Yeah, I, th I mean, I think... I don't think OG really can. I think they just they, they know what happened. You know, you get you get reversed in that second round. Mm -hmm. Probably this is the outcome. I think they just whatever. Uh, probably not that happy that they can't get the orb yet on Master. That's a little bit annoying. But again, they flash their way in for a kill and they take down Simple. It's just a tiny again a tiny bit of initiative. It's and it's not much. What <laughs> a two hundred dollar flashbang. Nicely done. Really like to see that. Super clean. And well, now, I mean, do they manage to get in here? Alexi B is going to get boosted on boxes. Boosted. He's going to boost himself. A little bit of an off angle, and it works wonderfully. Takes down Boomage. Needs to be aware of Flamey up close. Shot is going to come through. Flamey with the headshot, but he is blocked. Nowhere to go. You can't go back through that lake of fire. Yeah, but actually, the fact that he's forced to stay means he's suddenly getting a lot of information. He's realizing, first of all, that no one's playing immediately to his left, uh, towards the B-bomb site. There's smoke up there as well. The rest of OGs are pretty much standing their ground, not being too crazy. Valda could be going for a flank, indeed he will be. Oh, but Perfecto, that is so so unfortunate. His angle, you can see on Valda's cross edge, is off enough that Perfecto had the advantage in that one. So suddenly, from a 5-on-3 into a 3-on-3, it's still 40 seconds, and they're going to go catwalk. With uh, still Perfecto coming long, so a lot of trouble for Mantu. If if they if he swings out along there, what did not see? Oh, wait, long look again. Perfecto. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. But hey, Mantu gets the kill that matters. Drops that bomb carrier. And dude, MBK is working so well right now. Sets it up for Mantu to get a double. Yeah. Mantu is just comfortably in the lead right now for OG. Wherever that guy happens to be, death is soon to follow. For Navi, that is, as he is just pretty much like the one-man army. Strong start. Yeah, you're right. Nine to three. Really good stuff. And even though Perfecto played that uh, that long position much better than you could have you could have hoped for. I thought he was going to be, you know, just there as the last guy in, but he actually saw the flank coming and won that. Not his fault that the rest of his team couldn't couldn't deal with Mantu, but still pretty solid work overall. And OG, I think they're just going to enjoy... Well, they're going to enjoy the fact that they won the round. They're not going to enjoy the fact that it was a one-on-one -on -one when they won it. And look at Na'Vi. There's so much better equipment in this round. It's... Wow. It's That's a rough start for OG. When You finally win this round, and you actually can't really even feel it in the game yet. Nothing. Sometimes that's just the way it be. True indeed. But it is, yeah. Like you said, the full buy, and it looks like they want to say hello to this B site once again here. Navi, they've had success so far. Alexi B, there's the smoke. Doesn't hit the flick, unfortunately. 
And Issa is lit, so this is going to be a very tough hold for OG if Navi elect to go B. Considering how low HP Issa is, he can't really take too much of a fight, but that bomb... Well, they will get the CT smoke down, and it is going to upper dark, okay. For a second, you were wondering if they were going to go ahead and push short, but it is going to be the push, and Alexi catches Boomich. Yeah, and where's the rest of it? This is so disjointed. I don't mind that Boomich goes down, but why is everyone else just standing around? Electronic was there right behind Boomage when he went down. They could have pushed together, or and the people in Arbadak could have pushed in as well. This is so. This is a very Navi type round in the worst possible sense. <laughs> They're going up catwalk. There's 20 seconds left, and yeah, Valder should be winning this fight. He definitely will. He saw that coming, and now they're running out of time and certainly running out of players. This. I don't really know. I'd be so interested to ask them specifically what was it in this round that made them not commit to that B split. They had they had it all set up as far as I can tell. It looked so good. Maybe it's because the fight took place on slope and so they thought that Alexi was the rotator. Maybe they still thought there were two players on that B site that there was a gamble that they ran into. Yeah. I, I, I just, I can't do, I, my imagination doesn't even really come up with a good, with, a, with what I think of as a good answer to that. So... Yeah, I wish we could call them right now. We did see a little bit of this where you start not second-guessing yourself, but maybe overcomplicating things. You're thinking, yeah. oh, wait, hold on, we can pull a fast one. We're going to catch him before the rotate. And if we just go back in now, right? Like, you think that, you think that's going to work out, and then it turns out you just overcomplicated matters instead of keeping it simple? Possibly, yeah. We saw that on trying them when they were playing Nuke earlier, right? Yeah. Against NIP, there was a yeah, lot of exactly. switching back and forth, and they also had rounds that were, I think you pointed this out, less complicated, and they seemed to work all right, so... Yeah, that's uh, all over the place. Well, look, still just hoping to get lucky through that smoke. And I think he's still sitting. No, he got one frag now. Yeah. He's got to gotta start somewhere. I think the scoreline is tied up. It's it's 3-3. Three to three. No one really has any kind of money. So, yeah, it's it's a bit of a, a, bit of a slug at the beginning here. It's like first for, for either side. Man, two dropping really early, trying, trying to fall back. Ooh, but actually, I think... Flamey actually almost got his teammate killed by running in front, and the bullet went through the smoke. That could have been absolutely lethal. Electronics position, though, now is super important. And Simple will find a kill on MBK. So, Isa, one versus three, definitely not doable here. Oh, this is just the grossest situation, though, for OG, because look at their money. Yeah. Right? You're just going to be in this weird limbo. Do you say, can you manage to save this gun? Okay, well, at least he gets that kill on Electronic. It's going to be hard for Navi to hunt him down now, but... You're in this awkward spot. Your money's not going to be great. He's definitely an interesting player, Iza. Yeah, he's got a good sense of humor as well. He's got a good... And I, I mean, just from watching him... Um, I haven't spent too much time talking with Iza at events, mostly because we've had no events. Yeah. <laughs> but... Um, but um, you know, you, you watch him. You watch him play in general, and and his reactions at the events that he's been at, and all the rest of it. You get the sense that he, he is, you know, an emotional player, right? and seems like a super positive human being. But but you know, that emotion can be obviously super powerful if you're winning all the rest of it. But it can also definitely backfire. So it's one of the things I sometimes you know wonder if during the course of his career, it's still kind of early on, but is that something that he will learn to deal with better and better and better? Because he, when he's firing off and 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 sort of zoned in, he's he's definitely definitely a good player to have on the team. Pretty calm with age. One flash, that's a stretch. Yeah, Flamey not gonna find anybody off the back of that one. But this is still actually a fairly decent buy, all things considered for OG. Yeah, he, he, at least you've got three rifles to play with. That was my main concern is that they may not even be able to afford that much, or do they have to go for losses? But M4 is on two. Yeah, you could definitely win this round, yeah. Maybe retakes are going to be tricky with the grenades. Now we have slowly taken middle. They're holding up a dark. They're holding outside of long from middle. So, yeah, pretty standard stuff. Remember, OG in the matches they played so far here at Blast Premier have been really aggressive on the CT side. So I'm sure Na'Vi know that. I'm sure that's why they're holding this, you know, maybe a little bit longer than than, uh, than they need to. But I, I don't mind it. I think this is a, a, a good response to the kind of, you know, offensive um, CT side Counter-Strike that OG have been playing. And the push begins now. Going to be once again hitting this B. This is a real change of strategy from Na'Vi. Yeah. There was a lot of A focus, short pushes, long pushes last oh. time around. 
<laughs> What's going on? I don't understand. Again, they had the beast. They had everything set up for this beast but once again. And they call it off in the middle of it. And I just can't even understand why. Simple, barely alive. 25 seconds. It's like they have this meme drilled into their brain at this point that they need to go middle and sort of, you know, take take that whole thing over, do the smoke, check everything, and then go back to catwalk. But this is because this is, I mean, I mean this is me just throwing it out there. But the impression that I'm under is that last time we saw them played us too, they didn't focus that much on mid. It was a lot more extremity focused, you know. Yeah. Push on a B or take over long or go up short. It wasn't as much mid play. And maybe so Navi now, in order to change up, they're they're trying to focus more on mid to perhaps punish OG. But then why are they going back again? Yeah, I don't know. They're it's like I, do, I can only do so much, Anders. Yeah. But the <laughs> thing is, throw like once you have that smoke, or once you're in the middle, like once you're pushed out into like the CT spawn basically. Right. Like that's that's where you've you've come past the point where the real danger is. Usually the danger is that there could be a lot of people. The flashes can pop flashes can come in from like so far away that you can't even really hear them, right? So once you're there, that's that's the dangerous part done. Then you give it up afterwards. It's really confusing. Nice setup attempt. Actually, look at Boomich had that a little bit under control, but now it's going to crumble. And now they're running in one at a time, and that's never really uh, something that we recommend. Valda goes down at Simple, even if he was flashed. And that is an, that's a very important kill for Simple. Otherwise, they would have lost this round already. Oh, that HE reads him. That was so sick. Still doesn't save him, though. That is ridiculous that Navi still yeah. managed to get those kills. Outrageous. But that HE. Woo, buddy. That's just a scout on Mantu. I actually thought that was an op for a second. But, um, I don't know, simple at a minute and 10 seconds. Not the worst odds you could have for Na'Vi right now. If they win this round again, OG's oh economy is really going to be busted up. Same is true for Na'Vi in some sense, but... Yeah. Oh, he's back there checking. He's got the right idea, but it's just a Molotov. <sighs> A little bit stressful. And actually taking that Molotov damage is, you know, up against the scout. Got to be real careful. I like the fact that they're not ag attacking him at OG. He's boxed, and yeah. they know it. The clock is eventually going to force his hand. And they still have nades as well. So the, lo the longer this goes down, you just get those mollies in play. And Simple is going to be very hard-pressed. Although, look at Montu's positioning. Weird off-angle. Yeah, it's better for him to hide, obviously, if you see Simple. I mean, if you try and get the shot. Oh, what a turnaround! <laughs> the timing! How does he know that? How it's not th I think he's just that fast, Anders. Yeah. You know? I think he just turns around and he just happens to hit that flick. He's just, he's just that quick. It's like he hears the uh, he hears the trigger pull on Isa's gun and then he turns around beforehand. <laughs> I can't believe it. Well, good round out of wood. Like, winning the round, great news. Mantu gets the AWP. Um, yeah, this is looking better. Match is 13 in form. What a hero. Yeah, he's he's playing out of his mind right now. And yes. uh, these are definitely two of the players where, I mean, it's like Simple and Montu are pretty much like the two go-to that you want to keep an eye on for OG and Na'Vi. And it was the same story last time as well. They were both going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. But here it's Montu just taking Simple down at range. Montu even managing to get out of dodge. There's going to be a little bit of pressure here. Nice HG over the top. Doesn't do nearly as much damage as I thought it would. Looks like he got caught. Yeah, blew up just a little bit early. But that bomb, by the way, Navi, still back in T-spawn. And Flamey is realizing that. He's going to go ahead and pick it up. This is still pretty much a hard eco, apart from, uh, I'm guessing, Simple's Deagle. Simple always with the Deagle. Ooh, but, uh, that was a nice HG. And let's see. This should be fairly straightforward now for OG. Shouldn't be losing anybody. Yeah, definitely important that they Wait. don't. Want to with the really exposed angle. Yeah, don't do it. It's not, it's not worth it. Just fall back. You've got so many teammates here. Ah, uh, there we go. Definitely way better. Saving the ops. Keeping everyone alive. OG up 6-4 to four now. I think this is a really, really good start for, for OG. I yeah, I think they're doing a, a, a good job at the moment. It can be very hard to play CT side uh, on Dust 2. I think harder than people sometimes maybe uh, think about. Seems like it shouldn't, but... Um, but you can be pretty restricted in, in how creative you can get in, in the offensive plays. And OG are a team that have been you know enjoying playing that kind of Counter-Strike on, on other maps. What we've seen from them so far mostly has been...
Ooh. The flash is out middle. Well, okay, the last time, that's what I just wanted to double check real quick. Uh, they played Dust 2, it was 10 rounds on the CC side for OG. Yeah. So. It happened again. OG won Dust 2 16 9. So this, I mean, it's definitely. They, like, OG have got something going for him, and there's Montu with the right eye peak, takes down Perfecto, gets that angle. So nasty. And that's more aggression of the of the, the sword that we were just talking about. Something that, that again is not that easy necessarily to put to put together on Dust 2. They managed to do it both in middle and now in upper B or upper dark. Valder with a headshot to take down Electronic and this crumbling. Great grenade. Both from Valder and from Isa. Flamey with a chance to do some more damage. Maybe but Mantu will take it away immediately. He is 17 and 4 right now, and OG are really, really warmed up now. It took just a couple of rounds and here we are. Yeah, and this is, uh, you know, when you play back-to-back -back best of threes, this is that grind. And uh, yes, I mean, this is probably why Na'Vi were just like, let's keep going, right? Just keep trying to flow, yeah. stay in that flow state and just keep moving. Because if we, if we get a break, we are going to be in a situation where uh, we may lose our edge. And that may have happened here. Those OG are just going to be coming in here and ready to go, whereas Na'Vi have already played through an entire best of three, all three maps. So hard to judge, though, isn't it? Because what if what if there's no break and and this goes three maps and the Navi just essentially plays six maps straight with no, like, I mean that also sounds like then you'd then you'd be thinking, man, if only we could have had a break between map one and two, at least we could have like you know. Uh, yeah, our brains. Could That's tough, man. Bit. Keep in mind these guys usually play five, six, you know, scrims a day, right? So they're used to that yeah. workload. Yeah, they're not yeah. officials, obviously. Scrims are not officials, but. Uh, yeah. I mean, scrims, you'll often, you can often play, play like 30 rounds every map, just 30, 30, 30, 30, and get maximum rounds in true. as well. So, I mean, I don't know. It, 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 is, it is, I mean, you're, it's, it's true. It's going to be trade-offs, right? Yeah. Like, what are you used to? What do you want to go with? It's hard to know. But regardless, um, I mean, here we are. And is really MBK's crosshair? Um, never mind. You guys can't see that. <laughs> no. I don't think I, there is that command to change the crosshair based on, uh, based on what... Um, yeah, was that, that, that have, Go right? TV. But it did get very confusing at at, uh, at times, so could understand why. Maybe that's been taken a little bit out of it. Boosted over to try and see if they could get it done, but the grenade will explode to Boomich once again. And a two on five, no casualties yet on the OG side. Oh, there's going to be one and a follow-up. That is way more important than it seems. Don't think they're going to be winning the round anytime soon, but two kills like that definitely do some damage to OG's economy, and that is all that Na'Vi care about at this moment. Play me. <laughs> well, that's commitment. Give another kill to Mantu through the door. Eight to four. Yeah, the OG fans are in. OG oh, fans are back. That's good. Good on them. Well, the Na'Vi fans need to show up right now and give some of that power over to Na'Vi because uh, it yes. is currently a real struggle for these guys. OG just looking super solid. Isa forgetting to buy. No, it's cool. All right, we're going to get that double op in play. I like it. Interesting. Simple, you, you won't say, but we're going to get the challenge in the middle instead. Here we go, flashed in, shot through the door. It's almost like he got stuck ever so slightly as well. Yeah, there's the grenade. He's going to try and see. Can he dunk it on? And he's trying to get it back on out. But he almost oh. does actually go down. Ooh, that was close. That split second. What a call from Relic trying to get out of dodge. And Issa, you can see the moment's hesitation. You know that, ah, uh, half a second, not even. And now Navi, man, they just feel penned in. Do you go mid? and to try and brave it. I mean, you are going to take over Catwalk and try and clear this out, make sure there's no quick rotations possible here for OG. I so badly want to do the beast, but again, yeah, just, I've got my fingers crossed because I, I just, I don't, they couldn't know what we knew in those rounds. Like, I know I was criticizing them for falling back, but obviously they don't have all the information that I have watching it, but you still feel like, God, if they could just, if they could follow through on it, it's been a number of rounds where it's super doable. We'll see. It looks like they're clearing out catwalks. So they've got 35 seconds here. A bit of a jump down from Boomich and following in, in the smoke behind is Perfecto to take down MBK. Alexi very much alone over here. And the backup is going to be a little while away. So it's a good job that he gets that. But they're out in the middle as well. And Mantu, look at this genius. He's not even being baited into it. 
he's waiting. He, he, probably a call from a teammate saying, well, I'm only seeing a couple of people, not everyone. So for Navi, falling back, a nice shot from Simple, but it doesn't matter. They cannot win the round. It's 10 seconds left. There's no way to get to a bomb site in time. So that is really, really rough, unfortunately for them. And, well, they're going to lose Perfecto as well. Time running out, and it's another round on yeah. the side of OG. And they save both ops to boot. Insult to injury. And man, what a performance from Montu right now. You got to give yeah. it to him. 20 frags. He's doubling the runner-up on his team, Alexi B. And it would have been tempting for him to, um, to, you know, try and run close to the middle. And they were waiting for it. They were, they were listening for the footsteps. It would have absolutely triggered a, a great B push there. Yeah, really impressive from OG right now. Just absolute domination. 9-4. to four, CT sign for OG. Just looking real good. And here's some aggression coming in from Navi. Could be a very quick bleed. B split, the pending. Yep. Alexi B gets caught. But that is still two players remaining on the B side. Do they manage to survive? Do they manage to get any kills? MBK, no. And removed immediately. Now it's Isa. Has to be the hero. Going to get two. That's interesting. Is that enough? No, I don't think so. But it's still pretty impressive. I mean, that's... He was really surrounded. But yeah, yeah I don't think... I don't How does MBK not get anything, though? Is it the new doors? I guess it's the new doors. Yeah, I th well, I think he was also fighting someone that was like halfway in a smoke. I think it was uh, he had some some obscured vision in the middle of that too. It was looking a little bit awkward. Yeah, quick out the middle, B execute, no hesitation, no falling back, and it worked out really well. I think that was all. That was all cool to watch. Okay, now they've done that successfully. There's no reason you can't really, you can repeat a B split like this because the, the main, probably the main deciding difference between winning or losing those rounds has to do with the setup on the OG side. And I mean, I feel, I'm not sure OG will just immediately stack the B bomb side because they lost one round like that. So you might still have another round where you can do it. And well, 15th round. So this is also the last round where you're going to have a chance if you want it to go that round. What else have Navi got? I mean, in the beginning, when OG had worse rifles and fewer grenades, they were winning the long fight. But that uh, that era has come and gone, and now that they seem to get shut down a lot over on long, might want to try it anyway. Yes, they will jump out and already a fair bit of damage. And OG are going to give it up. Don't mind that they do that. You don't have to stay and fight on the CT side of on, on that corner, which people tend to forget. And just fall back. especially when you have the op in play. And yeah. Montu's hitting shots the way he is. Just anchor around him, protect him, and let him turn it up with that sniper rifle. Thing is now, Navi, I mean, they have zero presence over towards B. Yeah. That entire half of the map, including short, is just nothing. Scary. Boomich came back over here to check a little bit to see if anybody, if he could just get lucky and spot anybody pushing mid. But yeah. This really is just a standoff now between these two teams. OG are just anchored towards A, and they've just sat on B waiting yeah, if this was StarCraft, Samuel, you'd want to do an orbital scan or something other and see what's going on. Just get a quick scan in there. Yeah, you're right. Or, you know, get Overlord speed. Just zip somebody along. Find a way. Oh. The, the entire time. Interesting. He was, um... Normally, it's, it's, it's stop, like stop, duck and roll or whatever it is. Not slowly crouch back and die. Boomage with two big kills. NBK and Alexi B, two on five. It looks like Navi will be finding a sixth round here, unless uh, there's some sort of huge surprise in store for us here. Org is not going to do anything. It would have been cool if he could land a quick headshot there. Nice tapping away from NBK. He's going to be taken down simple, but still one versus three. And he might as well go all in on this one, although he's going to change his angle of attack. Don't think anything he does here will really make a difference. Uh, they're going to know as well. Yeah, and they will just play it safe, not even really challenging him. All that much. Still, OG with a nice first half. Nine to six in their favor. Man to a 20 and five. That is amazing. We'll go to a break and we'll catch the second half right after. Ladies and gentlemen, it's that time again. Let's play Skin Survivor. And today we've got coming on to the show, OG's Valda. Thank you so much for coming on. He's going to be picking an M4A1S skin for us. Valda, 
Would you consider yourself a skins man? Yeah, I guess I'm a skins kind of guy. So we're gonna go through each of these groups of skins. You're gonna pick your favorites until we get to the final winner. And the ultimate winner will be given away to one lucky contestant. Heading into round one, this is quick fire, and I just need you to tell me which skin you like the look of. Mecha Industries. Chan Chico's Fire. Hyper Beast. Nightmare. Decimator. Guardian. Bright Water. Dark Water. So now we're going to move on to the second side of the bracket, and this time I'm going to pick your brain a bit more about your skin choices. First up, we've got Chantico's Fire versus Mecha Industries. I think I'm going to go for the Chantico's Fire. I feel like it's a little bit more like colorful. The Hyper Beast, the classic versus the Nightmare. Probably going to go with the Hyper Beast. I really like the look of it. The Decimator versus the Guardian. I'm gonna go with Guardian because it's like one of the, the real OG skins of, of CS. The Dark Water versus the Bright Water. Uh, I'm gonna go Dark Water because I'm not that kind of guy. So we start off with 16 skins and we're already down to four. We've got the Chanticos Fire. It's made it all this way to go up against the Hyper Beast. Uh, I'm gonna go Chanticos Fire. So that's like, that's gonna be my go to. We've got the Bright Waters made it to top four alongside. The Dark Guardian. Which one are you going to go with? For this one, I'm going to go Guardian. From 16 skins down to these two in one corner. We've got the Chantico's Fire. Bold, contrasty, yellow, fiery reds mixed in there to go up against the Guardian. Darker, muddier, more classic. But what's most important here, Valda, is which one are you going to pick? Which of these two skins do you like more? So for the final, I really like the, the clean and smooth looks of the Guardian, but I'm gonna have to pick the Chantico's Fire because I feel like it's a bit more colorful, and I think it's also a little more expensive, and like, who doesn't like an expensive skin? Chantico's Fire will be the one to take down the Guardian. We didn't think we'd see the day. Now the only thing we have left to do is to pick a home for the Chantico's Fire. Valda, I just need you to do one thing. Pick a number between one and four. Go one. Congratulations to Mr. FTS Cloud for winning that. And thanks so much, Valda, for coming onto the show. Thanks a lot for having me. It's been a lot of fun. What happens next? We are back once again. It's Navi versus OG, the final match of the day here. And I mean, Navi were looking pretty hot at the beginning, but OG just unfazed. Led by Mantu at a 20 to 5 scoreline for him personally. Right back into a 96 scoreline. I think that is, that's amazing. Job well done so far. Job well done. I mean, yes. They have they fell one round short of their performance yesterday on the CT side of Dust2, OG. But, yeah. I mean, 9-6, still very respectable. And now you're going into a pistol round where you could just get it to double digits right off the bat at the beginning of the half. They should be feeling pretty good about themselves right now, OG. And simple. Oh, let's see. They've managed to so far avoid the boss, although he is now going to be the one point blank ready and waiting. And never mind. Flashed, killed immediately, and the flank is going to come through. Velda gets clicked into oblivion, but it is still going to be a four on four, and the bomb is going to get planted very quickly here. Very quickly. Definitely for long as well. Which they have one player down there, but it's Glocks again. It's not USPs of that range. So, not that it's a bad bomb plant, but there could be some complications in about five seconds. So, we'll see. Trying for this retake, already jumping down and moving forward. A four on four right in the mix of it. And Iza trying to get a kill. Oh, Flamey with two big headshots. And MBK, he's going to be standing tall here. Taking down Flamey. Now it's a two on one. And MBK is trapped in this corner. He cannot get out and he will go down. And Electronic, is there a kit somewhere? Yeah, there is. So he's going to have enough time for it. Nice triple on Electronic. Nearly a round for OG though. Five HP for Electronic. Yeah. That was a headshot. MBK managed both of them. Bloody hell, you can't get much closer than that. <sighs> so close for OG. Yeah. But that is it. That would have been such an amazing hold from MBK. I mean, that that really almost worked out. Would have been fun to see if they would have had the, the long player left alive at the end of it just to try and stop the defuse, but that was not meant to be. Second round AWP coming out from uh, from Simple. That's pretty quick to be picking that up. I I don't know. I don't know. Who, who got that? I guess did Electronic dropped it? Yeah, Electronic dropped it for him. Must have been. He traded. 
But uh, it's looking like there's going to be a buy coming out from OG as well. This is a tactical timeout called by OG. It's the first time I used here. All right. You can't get closer than that. That is the finest of margins. But now I'm very curious to see how this is going to pan out for OG. What do we got in store for us? Alexi B, the madman. We've seen the clips of him calling the shots. He really does get to get in there nitty gritty with the micromanagement, but uh, you know, it's working. Yeah, we'll find out if it does this half at least. So far, it's, it really has been well worth watching. If you missed any of these OG games that have been happening so far, say it's worth going back and looking at some of them because there is there's a lot to learn or bit to be to be taught from those. Seventeenth round, and. See, I don't think Navi necessarily going to be shocked that, that there's a buy coming here. Doesn't mean they can't get overwhelmed, though not in the B-bomb side. If there's going to be B-split, they're set up pretty well for dealing with it. Let's see. Oh, no. Oh. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Live, he's back. Okay. Scary moment. It's all fine. It looks everything about this is set up for a B-split, isn't it? They're... Even if he's fine, I'm still, I don't know, ambivalent on that whole thing. No damage done, but... You're still, you know, a minute into the round. I don't know if you get to stop it. Yeah, I'm all right with that. I think that works. Mm. MPK, Galil in hand here. They're waiting a long, long, long time. Yeah, so they're going to be setting up the smokes down there what CT spawn, but there's still three people waiting. Navi seem like they are well prepared for this kind of a thing. Perfecto will spot out one, so that's a little bit of confirmation. He will miss that spray, jumping straight up under the box and ready for middle as well. No shots with the AWP at the moment. Oh, they're in a lot of trouble now. Simple going down and Perfecto missing all of the shots, finally getting the one, but that's way too late. They needed Simple to pick up one of those kills and middle, I, I, we didn't see it from his point of view, but that is, that's critical. If that mid presence is gone, Every single one of them can return and just focus straight into upper dark, and, and probably they win the round. I feel like Velda's trying to force things now because he's lagging so far behind on kills. You know, I don't know if there's a reason for him to push Boomish in that situation. No, maybe not. You just hold the angle and Boomish is boxed, nowhere to go. But uh, still doesn't change the fact that uh, OG are going to get double digits and just slap Navi around in that second half. In that second round, let's see. I mean, this. You're right, though. There were three players on the B side, so you have to expect it to be heavily Navi favored. It just did not pan out for them at all. No, it really didn't. Um, and again, I mean, two of them at least were distracted by someone coming through middle. And their Plantel player got shot in the face, which was a really, that was a good shot with Khalil, but yeah. It's also probably frustrating to lose a round like that, because you're like, well, we had three people. What, what, what more can we do, you know? Can't, can't stack four people and B. That's not going to be a not going to be a viable strategy. <laughs> I hope all of you like. I could feel that coming before it happened. You just you're so simple setting up for him. He's like, click. He's gross. Simple as. Hmm. Just taking a quick glance. Yeah, fourteen frags for simple right now. That's good, but um, still something to be decided for Navi as a whole right now. I don't know. Everybody's got Molotovs right now. So, I mean, you could just kind of take over B, just split B and run in. Yeah. It's looking like they want to go towards A, though. Maybe, a, you know, walk up catwalk, take long-range fights, abuse the rifles. Seems like that's going to be the play. Yeah, which also fine. They still have 35 seconds. That's okay. But um, don't wait too long. Never, you never really in a, in a round like this where you've got all the advantage. You don't want to suddenly be short on time. Alexi B setting up for a Molotov. You can throw those so that they, they burn the entire corner out. Although sometimes it's a bit tricky. So uh, this one seems to be working. Perfect. He's going to take a bit of damage. Although he's going to come charging in. Not hitting the shot. Counter flashes as well. 14 seconds. And again, this way you have to worry about the time. I mean, one little hiccup in a, in a round like this and things go real bad. No jumping attempts being made. I thought maybe they could have gone for that. CC a ranged double take down MBK. How is that possible? That's wild. And well, now, 
Let's see, there is going to be a bit of a push. Simple again, just going to go ahead and join this party. Was expecting the flick headshot. He still gets a body shot. It's a two on two. Lots of damage being dealt, and it's now a one on one. Does Electronic, once again with a single digit health pool, manage to take this clutch up close? It was so close. Alexi B down to 17 health. Wow. Yep, that, that really, really was close. Just want to point out. When, I mean, Simple didn't go for the for the sort of jump shot against the bomb planter, but it was eight seconds left. So if he goes down, I think they just win the round now. He, um, a little bit uh, short on time. More people have been added into the frame. Just having a good time. Yeah, it's, it's, it's online gathering OG fans. They're getting their way at the moment. Man to missing a shot. He's not afraid to repeat that. Just pistols on the Navi side. Simple still gets it. Well, MBK, at least he'll get a couple of eco frags. Pretty sure he's going to spot Perfecto here in a moment. MBK's got the bomb, so it seems like he's trying to play just a little bit more carefully, but uh, Perfecto eventually, yep, going to get hunted down by Issa. Quick round there, anti-eco. 12 rounds on the board now for OG. 7 for Navi. OG looking very good on this T side. And, well, this is Leaf. Oh, man, $100 short for an AWP on Simple. That's what you get for always buying these deagles, Simple. Every time, buying deegs. You could have had the op. Yeah, yeah. That is that is the price, isn't it? But then, we get to see him, you know, one deeg people. That's, that's you know, nice. Oh, please. I was just thinking, wow, what a, you know, just hanging around mid, full attention towards A early on. But it was a boost. The electronic up on catwalk very early here. Now things have stabilized for Navi. Electronic still holding fairly aggressively. On cat. Coming through. This way you'd be really interested to see if Navi are gonna try and be a little bit fractured like OG was. Bit of a run-in, but again. Yes, but not really. Like where's the flashbang to set that up for electronic? Where's the help? Like he's just being forced forward by a Molotov, I guess, but still. You'd want Navi to be the ones taking the initiative and not OG, at least some of the time. And this time they get wiped out and they're going to be saving on the other side of the map. I really think it's it's such a... It's not like it's some sort of dramatic difference, but the, the few things that OG did when they were on the CT side really just gave, gave them some great start in some of these rounds, right? Flashes down middle, some pushes in up a dark. Like, yeah, it's not... doesn't have to be too much. Mm -hmm. Don't have to oversell it, but... But now we aren't doing it, and as a result, you know, OG get to wait around and, and sort of feel comfortable and start some of these fights. So 13 to 7, it's about to be a six round gap between the two teams. And not much right now that suggesting that OG are going to slow this down at all. No, they're going to get more and more confident. They've got money now as well, so that pressure is removed. Even if they lose a round, it's not the end of the world. And so you can just continue to get more and more comfortable here on the OG side of things. And, I mean, you you smashed Na'Vi on this map yesterday, 16-9. So you already know that you, you've got Na'Vi figured out on this map. Yeah. Uh, everything should be just pointing towards an OG win here on this first one. But there it is. Timeout called by Na'Vi. They finally tapped out and decided to take a little moment here to talk things over. That was picked by Na'Vi as well. <laughs> yeah, that's, so... a, that's a real tough one. There is that to think about. OG uh, picking up uh, Mirage instead, I think. So um, that could be fun. Navi looked uh, looked like they knew what they were doing on Mirage, so it's not a complete, you know, disaster. Although I think OG were uh, really an inspirational team to watch on Mirage. So really enjoyed their CT side. Oh, their T side, sorry. I think it was great. But their CT side again had the same features as we're seeing here: the the aggression, the making it hard to guess what's coming next. They're proactive. Yeah. But it feels like you can be that proactive, I guess, if you have Alexi B, who's going to be fine-tuning details, right? It feels like yeah. Alexi B's really got it figured out when it comes to his leadership and how he calls um, the rounds. So, I mean, if it's if, the, if you aren't left guessing a bunch of the time, I suppose you can have those more aggressive rounds where it's just like, okay, we know what the plan is. Go. Execute. But, it, I mean, it obviously does require a deeper playbook, right? You know, if, if the strats on the CT side involve, you know, 
like you know two B two A one middle or something you know like that's that's one type of calling right but if you if you have to add in stuff like well let's you know execute this particular little trick that we have and we have a whole long list of them we all have to sort of remember mm. how it all works and and also not make it obvious right like if you if you do the same thing game for game for game people will start to figure it out so try and stay unpredictable as much as you can it it is just definitely more work uh, to also throw that in but I think the results kind of speak for themselves at the moment so. Use that time. Oh, there's the Lurk Smoke. Molly to back plat. Is this enough to get Navi? I mean, they've only seen one, one, one day. So it could just be one guy making noise over here. A lot of discipline on Navi's side not to over rotate based off of this information. Yeah. But a second smoke. Now you got to be wondering. If you're Navi, you see uh, a little bit of movement from the players. Now they're like, hmm. Two smokes, upper dark. Something could be coming. This is it. By the time they know, it might be too late. Flamey, nice lineup with the Eagle just at the edge, and he could have had a double. But the window player is perfecto. He goes down with not much at all. So this should still be all right. At M4 and simple, I would still try and hold on to it. I just don't think it's worth trying to go for this retake. Lexi B and E's are a little bit uh, tagged up, but yeah. Stay away. Let this one go. It's going to be OG at 14 rounds, so... Yeah, we're not seeing not seeing Navi kicking this high gear just yet. So, you know, it's a very, very relaxed version of Navi. We saw that earlier when they were playing against uh, against Nip at times, right? They yeah. were, uh, they sort of had moments where they were looking great, and they had moments where it was, yeah, not quite as energetic as as um, as we'd like. Low energy. Yeah, sleepy Navi. That is a uh, at the moment. Boomage close to the trunk for no reason. Goes up bomb. I don't know. <laughs> this is it, man. <laughs> it's just so gross. I get it. But then I see that and I'm like, <laughs> 14 to 7. You really do stay really mobile and just, yeah. Yeah, yeah you just spray a bunch of high damage rounds. Might as well have a machine gun. I think I'm mostly bitter that I can't use it that well. I think if I could use that, I'd feel very differently about it. Possibly, yeah. Like this is great. Never change this gun. Never change this gun. That's why you can't usually take pro advice. Well, AKs, AWP on the OG side of everything they want. Navi, short on grenades, but otherwise in terms of the weaponry, looking pretty decent at the moment. 22nd round right here, and still not seeing the proactive moves out of Navi. No ones on Catwalk being flashed in. No push it on the dark at the moment. I I I don't like it. <laughs> it's gonna give. I'm gonna give poor reviews on this. I don't know if they have a website for it. Go on the Navi website and leave a bad review. I think I will. <laughs> All right, get on Yelp. Yeah. One star. Okay, sir, I was watching the 22nd round. The food Dust was... Uh, I didn't like it. Black seasoning. Just <laughs> definitely, definitely need more spice in this. They're all standing... Look, look at the minimap. There's no one moving on the Navi side. No one's doing it. They don't know anything about what's happening. They don't know anything, like, apart from what, exactly where they're standing. That is just not good enough. The electronic going to be going down... Simple here, soul up to him, but they have oh, at least a couple of more grenades. Not gonna get that one against him though. NVK will drop and simple back to check long. They're gonna give up the bomb site four on four for a full retake, in which they have none of the grenades that you would want for a retake. The OG are gonna be moving over towards the catwalk, and Navi they need smokes, Molotov, something to make that uh you know a difficult choice for OG. And that's not happening right now. It's a pretty good shot from Flamey though, but LXCB will be there with a quick return. Trying to see if they could cross on over. Simple with a kill on Valder, but again, it's it's not that easy. That bomb is still out there and ticking, and they need to find a way to get up there. They do have kits, but they're just listening at the moment. Man, too. Oh, nice shot from Simple. He had almost no time to do that. And Alexi, he wants to just go for the swing. It's already being defused. Oh, you feel like he could have just crouched into it, but I guess he was um, keenly aware of how fast Simple is. Now, if he win the round, 
I don't think they should have. I actually think that should have been OG's round. It's just so the details. It's just so sick when you when you know that if he's on the right like that, and you see simple just slowly because he knows that if he rushes it, like you know that shot yeah, can yeah. go from onto. But if he slowly inches around that corner from left to right, he'll see him first. Yeah, yeah. Slight advantage. Just it's like just crouched right like there's some sort of thing there. Yeah. So Maybe... I mean, it's just knowing which angle works with that yeah. advantage. That's what's it, what it's all about in this op the op game. And simple is just one of the best at it. He he's just so nasty. Truly is. Because I mean, we we watched it from Monster Street. We couldn't even see him. He just died. Yeah. I think Manta was crouched right, so that that also means you can see like the knee or something. Yeah. Like, you know, there, there's that little thing going on. We'll see it here. Look at this. Like we couldn't see simple, yeah. But simple gets to see a whole shoulder up there. Definitely visible. Eight to fourteen. That is finally a round for Navi, and it just still feels like it's way too late to start to turn this around. I mean, obviously mathematically it's not, but that again, I just think Navi should have probably lost that round. It wasn't some, there wasn't some clever thing on it. Like, I do like this on catwalk here. Trying to be a little bit aggressive. Boomich, though, is alone on him. I don't think they haven't seen him yet. There are so many people out, and he's at least going to get the one kill. And you will have heard a lot of people. So not just the kill, but the information about how many people were there. He for sure will have known that there's at least another two or three people there. Pushing into upper dark on the other side. This is pro this is way, way better. Good job, Flamey. Well, yeah, being proactive. But I, and I guess they do have to force it now. I think OG just have to kind of bite the bullet and go. Yes. This is so tough, though. How do you break this? You got a flash. One flash. It's, you better make it count, NBK. Yeah. Okay. One for one. Simple still here, though. Electronic. Yeah, this is done. It's too much when you're trying to peek into simple like this. Well, let's see. It's still a chance. The Molotov in the corner. This could be a one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, no. Did he try? It bounced through the fire. I think he tried to put it out. And it just didn't work. MPK now. Oh, he almost had that. Oh, man. What a 2v1 that would have been. Flamey gets the kill at the end. Navi barely stay alive. But, um... Uh, I get think CS he got glitched. Yeah. Let's see it. I think he did. So he's like, I'm going to put out the fire. Yeah. And it just literally hits a pixel where there's no fire, I guess. Something. The fire had not spread there yet. Who knows? <laughs> get wrecked. It's not an exact science. Let's put it like that. All right. Well, kind of exciting. I, I still think OG did the right thing in going forward. I don't think they should have gone back. Rushing through the flames into the bomb site that has worked before, and it is looking good once again. Simple at the cross, but surely they're not gonna just jump. Like, don't give. Yeah, this is the smarter move, and they take him down. And now, hard as it is, I don't think Navi should yeah, fall back. It's not. I. It's just not worth it. They don't have the economy. Yeah. I think if they have the economy, they go for this. Because they were yeah. right outside the door, and maybe you go for some crazy play. Agree. But uh, the, you just don't have the economy. So you're going to kind of hang around here, it looks like. Boomich with the MP9. Okay, fine. Not so much with Electronic. And yeah, Perfecto's already backed out, so he'll be saving that AWP. And well, that's going to put OG on map point. It will, with, with a classic... The most classic B rush. Go for it. Yolo, straight in there. Why be subtle? Just get in there. I they, like it. Yeah, they've already proven that that B bomb side, even when there's three people defending it, it's something they can they can take. So hard to argue with, really. Not not the most elaborate strategy, but it did work. Fifteen to nine. Now we need six in a row to fight for overtime. Man. Even some money on OG, so even if they win, you know, one round here, not gonna immediately give them the eco or anything. It's a long road ahead. It definitely is. And on their map pick as well. Mm hmm. Hmm. Just watching real quick. Alexi's definitely, I mean, dude, he's always dialed in. He's always got that on point. Yeah, I think the whole game plan that Alexi brings to these games is um, is really something. Like, there's a level of focus there that you you can tell from really both sides. Back to back B rushes, Anders. 
Go for it again? Yeah, just go for it again. Got this, kind of got the spawn for it. Oh, you got the spawn for long, though. Yeah, never mind. I didn't see the spawns. Alright, this is, this is, you got that off right here, you see? Oh, if, I, 